it's Tuesday, the 12th of July, and I'm starting a bit late with the vlogs, but I've been distracted with some other things. Been busy with some Pokemon cards and stuff, just to try it out as a bit of a hobby project. Not really much there yet, but always fun to dabble with other endeavors. Today and tomorrow are the Amazon Prime Days. They were a bit disappointing in the Netherlands. So I have only ordered two sets. They should come in Thursday. And yeah, my will be parted out. For today, um, I'm starting with uh, parting out the uh, brick heads. So they're done. And we can fill up this wall again as there are quite some free spots tomorrow on the schedule will be closing down the shops because i'm going to migrate to bricker from brick freedom so i need to close the shops for a bit and yeah then they migrate me to the new software will be the first time since the store has opened that the shop will be closed so yeah kind of a weird feeling but it will only be for an hour or so from last week till now we didn't get any orders so it's a bit on and off with the orders but yeah that's okay it gave me some time to pursue other endeavors. Got some card sleeves and stuff. I'm listing the Pokemon cards on card market. And for now, these are listed. And yeah, just a side hobby project. Don't expect too much from it. Won't be covering it much in the vlog. But yeah, just for fun, you know. For now, let's open these all up and see what's inside as the other brick heads from the bride four bags similar pieces so will be good for quantity i might even need bigger drawers for some of the pieces but can't find them right now but yeah um ah no I thought these uh, snot bricks, or I don't know how you call them, but those were white, so won't be adding much quantity to those, but that's okay. Um, yeah, going to part these out for these bags, which I've ordered on eBay, and yeah, I'm just not going to deal with it. I will list them tomorrow on the local marketplace, give someone a good deal and get rid of it i'm experiencing when i'm having to deal with used pieces that i'm getting a bit bored or less motivated as it's just a lot of work to quality control them and yeah time Sometimes it's a struggle for me, so I put those things off. So, yeah, not going to deal with those at least. But we'll finish off all these things. And then my used minifigure adventure will be over. And the focus will get back to new. Not really sure what to do with this wall. Not really happy with it. Especially with the USB parts, but going to think about what to do with it as I want to phase out all the use pieces. So yeah, got to think about it. And yeah, figure out how I want to finish off this wall. Might even rearrange it a bit for a storage rack like this, maybe. 
so we can store more shield sets or anything else but we'll see lots to think about but first some part outs at the halfway point of parting out done two bags so I'm going to put away first a bit so i get space to <laughs> um, part out further so i did this a while ago on camera but it's been a while so i'll do it again we're going to part out set 40384 we've got it 10 times so we open up a new brickstore file oops add a set so select set and four zero three eight four select one of them and close i gotta set it to new and change the quantity to 10. okay then i right click and say part out item yes extra parts selected no instructions that's all good i'm going to select them all and press ctrl l to consolidate all the lots yes to all so now all lots are consolidated i am going to open my bricklink store inventory then switch back to the part out go to edit and then copy values from documents the store file needs to be merged the remarks need to be merged finish now i've got all the remarks filled in and i'm going to try and see if i oops damn it <laughs> one-handedly it's not that easy I got a shift click and I fill in to do so I know which parts I still need to do and when I've done a part I'll remove the to do from the comments and I know it's put away so yeah that's how I part out my sets and get the remarks of the lots I already have in my store into brick store and yeah going to put it away now and move on to the other parts okay what i do if i've gotten a part which is already quite full i'll take a new drawer and i'll hope this goes well i'll put it in a new drawer 83 I'll change the remarks and when I upload it moves the part to the new drawer and my inventory checks out crap <laughs> always a straight piece so yeah that's how I move around parts the way the reason I do it of course is I don't have a lot of space so every part out every upload I gotta readjust some of the inventory to fit again as that's the most efficient way to work in this room for me and yeah thought i'd show you it maybe if you experience the same you can use it it's a bit more work but with picking orders and stuff it it saves me time as everything is in order this drawer goes uh, the other way around and if i have a part which quantity fits in here it gets filled up again and used so we can have all drawers the right way around again second badge done on to putting it away it's been a long day so i'm getting tired and hope i don't make too many mistakes that's always a bit of a struggle if you're getting tired you are getting more less accurate so always gotta take it a bit slower then and make sure i don't make any mistakes it's wednesday the 13th of july 
and we are not starting the day off with leg orders because we have none <laughs> but we did sell two pokemon cards which is pretty great i've listed them yesterday and they're already off to france so not too shabby for today in about two hours or so the store is closing and i'll be migrating to bricker and after yeah we'll take a look at bricker of course and we'll focus on used pieces again i'm expecting the new packages tomorrow so then we'll go on with tomorrow and for today i'm going to do a thing i always dread and that's labeling the drawers so that's finished kind of weird to see but the stores are closed so yeah on to migrating hope everything goes well and we'll get back to you when it's done so yeah okie dokie stores are still being migrated done labeling so yeah it's unified again i've opted not to go for the tinto method so printing one long strip and um, cutting them with scissors to speed up the process the reason why i didn't do it is my ocd won't allow it i think if it looks different or not unified i really enjoy having it all the same size roughly in the same place and straight edges so yeah taking a bit more time but for me not annoying myself about it it's definitely worth it i've disabled the integrations with brick freedom and yeah now i'm going to wait till the migration is done shouldn't be too long anymore and then i'm going to click around a bit in it and switch to the desktop to record some footage of it when i have seen a bit myself so yeah okay so the bricker software is live it's not uh, brick with brick all is not opened yet but we still can have a look around to see what it's all about this is the home screen of bricker and it's pretty basic you've got some inventory management i suppose when i buy new lego i can uh, create a new purchase here and part it out after but we'll have to see tomorrow there will be two new sets and definitely gonna try it out and show you guys the inventory is managed from the bricker database so bricklink or brickall aren't the main stores anymore my main database is with bricker now and as you can see all my parts yeah are here um, still got to figure a lot out but for now it's uh, okay i still need to check how i can set my sale percentages and stuff i can see the item but i'm not really sure how to set a sale as i usually priced on the six month average and yeah gave a discount so not really sure yet what to do with it there should be some insights um yeah no data yet so we'll get back to that later like brick freedom there is an order page with some basic data again still no data in it we eventually can search through the orders and they uh, keep an archive of the orders so um, after six months the purge of bricklink doesn't affect this is my understanding so yeah we'll see it's got an order picker 
but still no orders so yeah gotta wait but all in all it looks pretty fancy you got a lot of options you can see it set the feedback pricing strategies tax rules api plugins shipping costs not sure if everything is set up correctly but we'll find out within a few days i hope <laughs> the next order will be uh, quite some new things um, yeah you can create coupon campaigns it's it's quite a lot and i can't wait to take you guys with me on this adventure and show you what this software is all about and how much time it would save me i'm really curious so yeah going to work further on the store but this is the first look at Bricker, and when we get used to it we'll probably see it a lot more done the black printed legs again lots of rejects but we've already found a buyer for the things i rejected they want to part it out but yeah i'm not going to bother with it um these are all okay and will be uploaded as i'm using the new software <laughs> there's one pet peeve i already have and uh, uh first when i was working through my bulk lot and i guess it's going to start super stupid but i did all the quality control and creating a brick store file on the sofa while watching some netflix just to relax a bit and uh, prepare but now i can't do that as when i've added a piece to the list i can't change it anymore so where i previously had a brick store file and i could add all the parts and then come over here and put them away i can't do that now so half of the work is figuring out which legs it are and i gotta do it in this room as when i found a leg i immediately have to put it away with the new software so it's a bit getting used to it's a super super thing to <laughs> be bothered about but yeah it's a new working method all in all i did figure out some more things and you can even add purchases and i did that so this price won't be all inclusive as i already uploaded some parts but just for the fun of it i entered the purchase price and it will automatically calculate stuff when i'm done so pretty nice to have those insights and yesterday the prime order also i added the purchase price and when i'm going to part it out i can see the value and such so we'll see that later this week and i can add the bill to it so i have those all in one place so if my new working method becomes adding the bill to the purchase i made i've got it all in one place and not in my onedrive or something or even if i forget from now on i can find it in bricker so that's really great uh yeah now i need to figure out those legs and put them away all parts are uploaded or at least added to the batch so uploading won't be till everything is done so that might take a while but that's okay i couldn't identify these legs with figure it out so yeah i'm going to put them aside and we'll do those on a later moment as time is running out for today for me so yeah i'm done i've still got a post office run to go and some other stuff all in all a great day happy the migration went well to bricker 
and yeah can't wait to show and experience the full potential tomorrow there will be some new parts coming in and might even part some out i don't know yet but we'll see okay so we've gotten an order as if they knew i wanted to try the new system so the order picker works as follows i gotta pick a piece confirm the quantity and go further so i'm going to give it a try and yeah we'll see that went relatively easy the order picker is getting used to as i have to confirm the quantity i have to get back to the laptop every time so it might be time to get a mount to mount the laptop on the card so i'm just walking to the card and confirming it maybe an ipad i don't know need to think about it but i do need to change my working method a bit as it's not like rick freedom which is okay i really like the improvements so far as you have a double check to see if you picked the correct quantity furthermore shipping was really easy i didn't record it as i had to try things out but i think i did it one thing i did wrong maybe is it's already at the shipped status but yeah the package is still here so not really sure if i had to um <clears throat> how do you call it if i ha had to wait with something or <laughs> i was too fast or wrong i don't know but we'll see in the coming few days so far shipping was no effort so that will be a time saver especially when you get more foreign or out of the netherlands orders as those addresses i had to type them manually and even for packages also so yeah really curious to see what the future holds but so far i quite liked it the numbers are a bit skewed but yeah i'm just curious to see what will happen uh, from now yep that's about it for tonight it's thursday the 14th of july and we get a second chance at picking um, an order at least shipping <laughs> um needs to be checked out whoops it might be easier just to do this and we'll see how that goes as i'm really curious if i did something wrong the last time 17 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So each time I need to verify the item count, which is a good function. Oh. Empty. But yeah, still getting used to it as I was used to pressing spacebar and getting on with it. One of the things that has changed. Um, after this, we'll go and ship those orders. And we'll go on with working on the use pile. Big order for bricks with studs on the side. Maybe I gotta count these after. 
so this clip won't doesn't get too long uh, damn it that won't work okay i'll it's a big count so i'll be back in a sec okay the order is all packed now let's see what i did right or wrong okay i'm going to pack the order client's name gonna check it on Brickall real quick um, yeah that looks all right okay now I can choose for a package or a letter Hmm. This doesn't give me the option to select post now. Okay, I'm going to check this and <laughs> we'll get back. That didn't go as expected. <laughs> so I gotta reach out to the guys of Bricker. Uh, this should be a, yeah, a, a business post but it doesn't show me give me that option so going to ask that we'll do it manually for now but hope it gets sorted as that would increase my time very much as it always is with these things i had to read the manual <laughs> because the connection between um, the shipping company and breaker isn't there yet so i have some manual actions to do and yeah my bad mistakes happen and yeah it, it still works great it saved me a lot of time of typing the addresses but yeah i just had to read the manual um whoops <laughs> okay we've gotten another order and now let's see how fast it goes. So I need to weigh the order. Gotta make sure it's the right um, weight. And it's not. So I've got to change this to. 22 okay so yeah can't show everything of course as it's user data but as you can see gotta turn it on That's all there is to shipping. It's like it's three press presses of a button and it's done. So yeah, that goes really fast. And I really love this about the software so far. It's just so damn fast to pull an order and ship and pack it. It took me about one and a half minutes we're running. So yeah, not too bad to get an order packed and printed, etc. Amazon Prime packages, or the Prime Day packages arrived. Got four times the city set, which has some roll plates again. It's been a long while since I had those in the store, so that's always good. And I barely do anything with Super Mario sets, but these had a decent part out. So, yeah, going to add those. Only thing is, good, I didn't buy it for investing, as the box is pretty beat up. Pretty beat up. Um, yeah, those will be parted out. Hmm. 
I don't know, maybe this week, maybe next week. It depends. Tomorrow and Saturday are quite some busy days. This looks a bit smaller, so might squeeze this in. But this looks like a big set. So, might be next week, maybe Sunday. I don't know. For now, we've got some backlog again. And yeah, still got to work on the use pieces, of course. But that's for a later moment. It's Friday, the 15th of July. Didn't think I had much time today and that turned out to be very true. But we did get one order. It's going off to Ireland. So yeah, it's a order with mostly minifigure pieces. And especially the used legs are going like hotcakes or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so it was definitely worth the effort, as you can see. Uh, still got a long way to go with it, lot, but always good to see some parts moving. Also bought some new pieces, with a lot of pieces from the build a minifigure hall and uh, the part out of the collectible minifigures, and even a collectible minifigure I bought a while ago. So great to see this part move. And yeah, going to pack them and then it's uh, evening for me and we'll back tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Saturday, the 16th of July. And we've got a, another order which is going to Canada. It's the same customer as before. So that's really great to see that the package probably arrived and yeah, going to ship it again. Um, we still gotta figure out what's the best flat rate price for those countries, but the baseline isn't there yet. So um, we gotta wait a bit for that for today. I'm going to part out the Mario set after this. Then <laughs> another set, sorry, the cat fell. Uh, another set will come in today. And after, yeah, I had a meeting yesterday and I'm thinking about what to do with this wall. Might be changing up the store again soon to maximize space as I've I want to be ready for the winter and maybe I need to start focusing on expanding from now a bit so I got room to grow faster in the winter period as I expect more sales then but we'll see first going to pack the order and after yeah parting out that set so the Mario set consists of a booklet, not too interesting, five bags, more than I expected, but yeah, that's okay. It's just four sets, so should be fairly easy. Um, yeah, going to sort them and get back to you after it. First batch is done. I couldn't fit them all as usual, but that's okay. Um, I'm now using the part out function of Bricker and it's a bit different than Brick Store, what I'm used to. So yeah, going to see how this works. One of the things is I had to uh, manually add the extra items. Not sure why, but maybe I did something wrong. We'll see, but for now I'll be putting them away. Going to the second batch and yeah, go on. Okay, um, everything is uploaded. And yeah, it, it was a bit of getting used to the new software. I've made this um, purchase order wrong. And why did I make it wrong? I made it for both sets which I ordered. So the purchase price for this set is also in it. And the reason why it's wrong 
is because I uploaded now the set and I've locked in the remarks. So if I would first part out this set before I uploaded items, the items might move again. And I don't know how the system will respond to that. So for now I'm leaving it like this. I've made a new purchase order with uh, just a zero cost and I will use it for the other set so it will even a bit out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to write down all the questions I have so I can get some clarity on some of them. As, um, yeah, it's still new. I'm struggling sometimes, but yeah, it is helpful and it has some nice features. So maybe in the future I'll make an in-depth video, but we'll have to see. For this week I'm done. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.